Welcome to the Watershed Learning Network. In this module, we will discuss what is water quality and we will examine how it is measured. Water quality is the condition of water, and this includes the chemical, physical, and biological characteristics of water. Typically, water quality is discussed with respect to its suitability for a particular purpose, such as drinking or swimming. The Environmental Protection Agency in the United States sets national standards of water quality for different water sources around the country, and state and local agencies set individualized guidelines as well. There are many conditions and measurements that describe water quality. Government agencies like the EPA put forth guidelines for how to measure indicators of water quality and what levels of contaminants are acceptable in certain bodies of water. Water quality is frequently monitored using chemical constituents or the chemical makeup of water. Certain toxic chemicals such as mercury and lead are only allowable below certain levels as they are dangerous to human health. Chemicals can come from many sources, including pesticides, fertilizers, old infrastructure, and urban runoff. Bacteria concentrations in the water are also frequently measured as an estimate of water quality. Escheria coli, or E. coli, which is a bacteria found in the guts of mammals, including humans and dogs, is frequently measured and used as an indicator of water quality. Turbidity, or the clarity of the body of water, can also indicate water quality. Turbidity is related to the amount of erosion and sedimentation that can impact lakes and streams. We measure turbidity by examining the total amount of suspended particles in the water. Turbidity can tell us a lot about a given waterway, as it affects the oxygen levels in the water, the types of habitats that you would find for animals in streams, and how much erosion might be occurring in a given watershed. Higher turbidity or more suspended in the water, particles suspended in the water, can also allow a given stream or river to store more heat. Biodiversity, or the amount and number of species living in waterways, can also be an indicator of the water quality in a given river or stream. Healthy streams, or streams with lower concentrations of toxins and pollutants, are typically better at supporting diverse animal life. Certain species, called indicator species, are especially sensitive to environmental change and pollution, and their absence or presence in a system can be a great indicator for managers about changes in environmental quality. As we mentioned earlier, water quality standards can be set for different uses of a given body of water. They can tell us if we should be able to swim in the water, fish in the water, or drink that water. Changes in water quality can also be very indicative about things that are happening within a watershed. For example, high levels of nitrogen in the water can be indicative that a farm nearby is using a lot of fertilizer that's entering streams and rivers during runoff events. High turbidity can indicate that erosion is occurring somewhere in the water, and changes and increases in E. coli levels could tell us that dog owners might not be picking up after their pets in a local dog park. Knowing details of water quality, both the standards and changes, can inform us on how to address problems within watersheds. 